such a blessing to be in a Methodist church. I was in a Methodist church from when I was this high, going to Sunday school. So the Methodist tradition has always been part of me, and especially the worship, the hymns that came from Methodist people. Uh, if you want to hear me sing, you need to close your ears because my voice is not very good. But uh, one of our early ministers in the Methodist church said that it doesn't matter if you sing in tune, you just sing it from the very depths of your heart because that's when God hears it. Worship is to be from the depths of our heart. You wouldn't have me in a choir, but I can really worship God. <laughs> and it's such a blessing for Marilyn and myself to be here with you today. And It's like we've traveled around the world and ministered in very many, a lot of churches around the world. And some of them, you had to have a, a tentative step as you walk into them. But some, it's almost as though it's coming home because you know the presence of the Almighty. You know that God is here. And where God is, that's where I want to be. So God is here. God is in the house. Do you believe it? God is in the house. And when God is in the house, we rejoice. Because when he's in the house, his presence changes our lives. The passage we've chosen today is from John 15, as we've already read, Abiding in Jesus. You may say, what's that got to do with healing? What's got to do with the healing ministry? It's got a lot to do with it. Because God's call for each and every one of us is to be in him. Because out of him comes all that we need to do what he has called each and every one of us to do. He just does not call the pastors. He calls every single one of us in this room to abide in him, to get so close to him. You know that the Greek word for abide isn't just coming and, and being in the room. It's taking up your seat in the room, sitting in the room. And it's almost as though the Greek word is lying in the room, making yourself at home in the presence of Jesus. Have you ever done that? Have you ever made yourself at home in the presence of Jesus. It's vital to every one of us to know without a doubt that Daddy God loves us, he accepts us, he welcomes us, but he wants to just grab hold of us and walk and work within us. We need to abide in God, to abide in his presence to abide in the presence where our lives are changed. 